Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to find what's holding a file open and also how to close or kill that process to uh, free up that file. So let's say you're trying to move a file or delete a file and it says it's in use and it can't be done and it doesn't necessarily tell you what's going on most of the time so sometimes you have to try and figure out what's holding the file open and sometimes you're stuck just rebooting and hoping that it'll release the file. So I have this Word document open here. This is just a basic example because obviously we know what's holding a Word document open. But if I try and delete it, it says it can't because it's open in Word, but many times it's not going to tell you what it's open in or it'll be something that doesn't make sense and you won't quite know, you know what to go try and close. So in order to do that, you could use a free tool here called Open Files View. So what you do is just uh, download a zip file, uh, run the executable once you extract the zip file and it'll list all your open files and obviously it's going to list more stuff than you really have open you know, a lot of these processes and behind the scenes type of things where you really get a, get a good idea of what's going on here you know, lots of stuff open so let's say we're trying to delete this file which was called meeting schedule so we go in here and we could scroll down to M or just start typing in ME so there it is right there you could right click on it. You could either kill the process or try and close the process first. Or if you want to bring it to the front, you could do that and it'll actually bring open up the program that has it open if possible. Uh, then you could also see the properties of it. You can see the file of the property or properties of the file. You could open the folder that contains the file. And you have options up here too to find. Uh, select all, uh, you know, show grid lines, tool tips, mark rows if you want to do a report, uh, choose columns. If you don't need all these columns here, you could get rid of some of them or move them around. And if you want to show open directory, show network files, hide files in Windows folder if you want to, you know, make your list a little smaller or hide process files. So if we do this, you see our list is getting shorter here. Just like that. So let's go back to our file here. So now if we just right click on it, let's try and close process of selected files. You'll see Word will close down there. And now we could delete our file just like that. So once again, just uh, download this file. I'll put a link in the description, unzip it, run this, find the open file in here, and then either try and close the process or kill it. And then you should be able to either move or delete your file or whatever you're trying to do to it. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.